Hey, good evening. I wanted to just pass a couple stories on you guys tonight. Interesting stuff that happened today. Uh, first of all, now here's Geithner back again, threatening that if the debt ceiling basically ain't raised just as high as he feels like it, uh, there's going to be catastrophic uh, effects like, uh, you know, worse than 2008 when the markets fell. Well, I thought everything was great, wasn't it? Oh, the economy's recovered. You know, I, I can't believe that these guys were allowed to get away with just straight up threatening. You know, Paulson did it back there in 2008. He said unless uh, they basically get a free check and just blind, uh, you know, no look, do whatever they feel like doing, that it's all going down. So he got that. Here we are a couple of years later now. By the way, looking tomorrow at 580,000 job losses, that's what they say now. Of course, they'll probably, uh, you know, that, of course, probably be adjusted to come in better than expected, of course. But about that, too, about the jobs, uh, that big number they came out with last week, they had 300,000 jobs or whatever it was. Um, they're basically saying now that that was... You know, they're coming after the government. They're accusing the government of uh, it's just being a straight-up lie. They're saying that those numbers just pulled out of thin air. You know, um, well, here's this uh, Ron Paul, too. I'll leave you this story also. Say so Ron Paul comments that he's not really trying to play this, raise the debt ceiling, you know, stuff too much. He says that the U.S. government must admit it's bankrupt now. Uh, you know, as, as, for as crazy as Europe is and all that, at least those guys are over there. You know, they're getting austerity measures placed on them now. And today, another thing that came out was the, uh, the senior bondholders for these banks. So they're going to have to take a loss. Just a little while ago, they were saying, no, they're, no, they're protected. They're not going to have to take a loss. They're going to be covered. Now they're saying they're going to have to take a loss. You know, this stuff's coming down to, you know, situations where those senior bondholders, we know who those are. You know, those guys are the, you know, the, the Rothschilds and all them. They're not going to take a, a loss one way or the other. They don't take a loss. That's going to be prevented. So Ron Paul's out there saying, eh, we're not so much into uh, to doing this uh, unlimited debt ceiling raise and, and all this this nonsense and Geithner with his letter you know he had a threatening letter well we're gonna you better raise the debt ceiling or else we're facing catastrophic failure gee really well, I thought it's been all good for the last two years I've got green shoots oh we got better than expected all over the place but suddenly if they're not handed a couple trillion more dollars it's all going up in flames and it would too there's no doubt about that if there's even a hint that all this free zero interest rate money is uh, is in danger at all, it's all over with. Well, none of this stuff is self-sustaining. And now Ber Bernanke, he's actually in a corner with all this stuff too. You know, everybody thinks that there's going to be this big new money, pr new, your new quantitative easing three, part three coming up. Well, if he does that, the bonds... The billions and billions, $9 billion a day bonds that he's been buying for the last four months or so, they're going to go up in flames. Okay, they might be able to do their QE3, but all these bonds and all this stuff, the rates are going to go through the roof, and they're just going to be up in smoke. They're already getting beat to death. There was another article, uh, read it yesterday, that since November, Bernanke's lost almost $200 billion buying these bonds. But, of course, that doesn't make the news. That's all right. You know, never mind all that. So, you know, tomorrow morning, then we'll see what these jobs numbers come out to be. You know, I think that there's getting to be a sour mood overall with all this. Europe, Europe's not doing good. Uh, China, for all that talk, they're not doing good at all. I mean, they're looking at they're raising rates again already. And all we have is this freaking money printing stuff. I don't know what people think, you know. They think everything's going to be good. They're going to coast into 2012 or something. Here we are a few days into 2011. There's all kinds of problems.
rising up here. So, hey, I'll leave you all these links and uh, take a look at them. And uh, once again, thanks for listening, and we'll talk to you later.